Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome back to another commentary video for PlayStation tips and tricks. Today I'm going to tell you guys a few things that I would recommend that you do before you upgrade to the PS5 this year. Remember, if you guys enjoy these videos to please hit the like button and if you have any questions or suggestions for future uploads, then comment below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. But starting off with number one, I recommend that you keep your DualShock 4 controller. Don't sell it, don't give it away, keep it. And the reason why is there are a lot of sources saying that there's a pretty good chance that the PS5 is going to be compatible with the PS4 controller. So you might wanna just hold on to yours as like a second controller just in case, because if this is true, then you can actually save quite a bit of money on a second controller for maybe a second player just by using your old DS4, which sounds like a great idea. So if you can, hold on to that old PlayStation 4 controller. But moving along, the next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is if and when you should sell your PS4 to maybe help pay for the new PS5. And I'm saying this because I realize not everyone is fortunate enough to just have an extra $500 laying around. So there will be people selling their current generation consoles to help pay for the next one. So if you are someone who decides to do this, I recommend that you keep the game discs for the games you still enjoy playing. And if you can, maybe even back up your digitally purchased games to a spare hard drive if you have one. And the reason why is because no Nobody is 100% certain exactly how backwards compatibility is going to work, so you're better off keeping the games you still want to play because you should be able to enjoy them on next generation as well. Now, why would you want to play last gen's games on PS5 anyway? Well, when the PS5 releases, there's probably not going to be a lot of official PS5 games on launch, so you might actually find yourself still reaching for those older games until we see a much broader selection of PS5 titles, because as you guys know, when the new consoles come out, there's there's always that short period of time where there are barely any games for it. But next up, moving along, you'll want to make sure that your PS4 is backing up your saves through PS Plus. Because if backwards compatibility is indeed a thing, then you should be able to access and load these saves on next generation as well. So if you haven't already, subscribe to PS Plus, then I recommend you do it right now. Now is definitely the time to do it. Or at least back up your saves to either a hard drive or USB. That way you don't lose out on all your saves, especially if you plan on going back to some of those older games. But lastly, and most importantly, if and when you sell your PS4, make sure to deactivate it as your primary and also do a full system initialization to erase all your data. That way, if someone else ends up getting a hold of it, they don't have access to all your information and everything on your hard drive. A lot of people forget to do this, so make sure you are not one of them. But that's it. Now you know what I recommend that you do before you upgrade to the PS5. I hope that you all enjoyed this video and found it useful or at least interesting somewhat. And if you did, make sure to leave a like rating on the video, comment below to let me know what you think. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for post notifications. I'll see you guys in the next video. Boop, 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 boop.